Today we're going to be looking at making pseudo-random movement in Blender. And to do this we're going to try and animate this little spaceship here. It's not the best model in the world, but it'll do. So to start off with, I am going to add in just a cube. I'm going to go into edit mode. Elongate it, bring it down. And scale it up. Now, very important here is to have our origin here. Start at where the cube's edge is. So what we're going to do is we're going to create What we're going to do is we're going to create a linked pendulum. So we're going to need three of these. So it's probably a little bit easier to see in wireframe mode. So we have this three-armed pendulum with a spaceship at the bottom. And so we're going to start using shift-clicking and going Control-P to parent the spaceship to the first arm and then the first arm to the second arm and then the second arm to the third arm. So now if we rotate this we can see if we move the top one it moves all three and then the next one down will move the second one and the last one will just move the spaceship on its own. So now we need to go over into our animation view and I'm just going to start going into a front view and then we're going to be wanting to use animation modifiers for this and to do that we need to go over into the graph editor and we need to click on each one of these and we want to hit I rotation I rotation rotation for each one of our pendulum arms. So to start off with we're going to go to the top and we're going to hit N on our keyboard and go over to modifiers here. And for the top arm we're going to add a built-in function and it's going to start moving. So the way we slow that down is just using our phase multiplier and we'll get to a point where we have some motion so now we have our spaceship just going backwards and forwards then if we play with the amplitude it will go A little bit higher. So then the next stage of this is to come to the second pendulum pendulum arm. So you turn that down slightly. And then we repeat the process by adding another built-in function. and just again another simple sine function and bringing the multiplier down. So now we can see we have some more some more chaotic movement happening there and it's becoming less predictable. 
So if we just pause and we go down to the third arm and then we add another function and we drop down our phase multiplier again. Now we have it moving around in quite a in quite an animated way. So now this is just going in one direction. So to have it moving around in a more sensible way I'm gonna come over here and I'm just going to add another one on the second arm in the uh, Z Euler direction and you can just animate for your individual directions just in here by opening that up that's really simple to do and now we're gonna add in another sine function and now we can see that we're starting to get a spaceship that's flying around in all kinds of crazy directions. Now if we want to adjust this, what we can do is we can take these three arms and we can scale them up and that will make this animation look as though it's going a little bit slower because the the length of our arms on these is going to determine to some extent our speed of travel We scale these up and then take the spaceship down. Now we have a spaceship that's flying around like you'd want. And the last thing that we need to do to make this look a bit more spaceshipy is we can come down here and we can add an object constraint. And we want to limit the rotation on all directions and bring down the intensity and now that's looking like a very flying saucer flight path thing and to see the effect fully what we can do is we can just come here and We can disable the view of the cubes in the viewport and the renderer. And then we, we just have a flying saucer flying around now. And this is flying around. Sorry, this is flying around programmatically. Um, so it will just keep going in these pseudo dire random directions forever which is a really really useful and quick way to get an animation going and if you want to change the speed you just play around with the arm length and the um, phase multipliers for your sine waves and that will change the speed and again you can change the amplitude as well um, thanks for watching I hope this is helpful